<laughs> Wait, is it focused? Yeah, it looks like I just woke up though. Hello guys, we are doing something today. Sorry, that was a really loud hello. Hi guys. We've been a little tired, we're gonna be really honest, and you guys know that I'm pregnant, so I've like, uh, I'm kind of going through these ways where I have a burst of energy, and then I have absolutely nothing. So Charles has been pretty rad when I'm feeling a little bit too tired to really do too much. We find other things that we can do to kind of preoccupy our time. So today what we thought we would do is something that actually we've been reading a lot about. It's a little early to even think about it, but it's still, it's always been something that kind of crossed my mind and that is baby food. I'm gonna be completely honest. The closer and further along everything's happening, my brain is starting to explode trying yeah. to figure out things. And, and you guys know Charles. Like he- I'm neurotic. Is, what, 50 I'm, steps ahead always? I know, and I'm so neurotic. Yeah. And I was talking to Allie. All I remember is <laughs> try. I don't remember Welcome much. Welcome to my life, he doesn't remember anything. And I know there's various things you can do. There's lead weaning and there's things like that that what? you can do. I think it's called lead weaning, is when you start giving them more food, like oh. solid food. I believe that's what it's called. Gotcha. I've, I've been reading so many books. Even though that's far down the way. That's further down. It's like way down the way, but we I think we that's just, like six or seven months. Yeah, but like I've been reading all these different books, and so is he, but like I've read what it's like to be pregnant, what you're gonna experience through from trimester to trimester, natural mama, which all mamas are natural, they just have different techniques that they use, but some women actually make their own baby food. Actually, I have a couple friends that do make their own baby foods. I wanted to see like what some of these taste like. Like, now, is it gonna- That's an idea. You know, and kind of have fun with it, you know? Have fun with it and taste these and see what they are and kind of maybe this will give us the ideas of whether we're, or not we would ever make our own food because I think I'd be like, yeah, I'm totally down. And then I will. I feel like everyone I've talked to- Because it's hard. Who's done it, they are like, yeah, it's like kind of what I've heard from people. So I don't mean to keep pointing the spoon at you, but people that really want to use cloth diapers, everyone's really gung-ho about it. <laughs> Every one of my friends are like a week in, they're just like, Nope, not anymore. We went to the store and we just looked down this aisle, this daunting aisle of just baby foods. And there wasn't even formulas, there was just baby foods and variations. And we just kind of picked out some that seemed really interesting. This interesting and some that looked really delicious. We didn't get anything that's uh, meat Had flavor meat, because you know we're vegetarians. vegetarians. In a lot of these books that I've been reading, it's about um, families you know, mothers, fathers, whomever, that are trying to make their own baby food. So I was kind of curious to like taste these flavors out and then actually see if like, I would be willing to, to take that extra mile to do. I think at the end of the day, I don't want to ever give my child anything that my I myself wouldn't like, wouldn't like or yeah. wouldn't actually eat. Number one is going to be zucchini, apples, peas, quinoa, and basil. One thing that That's I noticed, I know, right? Well, you gotta think about it, you gotta really pack in a lot of stuff probably in their food. One thing that I was noticing when I was like at the store and I was looking at baby food is there's always something sweet in everything. There's always like some type of fruit or like maybe a vegetable that's a little bit sweeter. And I think it's to kind of counterbalance those unique flavors that uh, babies yeah. may or may not like because most adults may or may not like those too. Zucchini, apples, peas, quinoa. Wait, but... you can't have this one. Can you? Oh, this is one I can't okay, have. So you have to actually have to double. What's it like? That's actually really not bad at all. It does smell like peas, but I don't really smell much of anything else. I Maybe really, basil. honestly, that was gonna be horrible. We're gonna do the guava pear and pumpkin. It's not bad at all. Yeah, that one's not bad either. It's a little tart. Man, this is actually turning out to It's really not bad lunch. at all. I don't think I can make it taste that good. Good, that Modern was good. Modern baby food does not taste like what it sounds like. All right, which one do you wanna try now? Apple raisin quinoa. Now this one smells a little weird to me. Yeah, that's, I can't pinpoint that one. That smells a little gross. All right. I don't like that one. I didn't like that one either. It's the raisin. That's the raisin. So we gotta remember this. Our kid does not have to eat that one. <laughs> Ugh. I don't know, maybe it's the quinoa. It's like earthy tasting in a weird way. So this one was like, like there's like a little bit of sweetness, but it was earthy. Was it earthy? Uh, uh, like, did that make sense? Is that the right term to use? You know how like beets are earthy? Like this was like a, I did not this like was like one. a dirty earthy. Not like a, like a dirt beet. I don't know, you know I'm gonna shut up. It's, it's just not good. It's gonna make I did not like that one at all. Apple mango strawberry. It looks like applesauce. That's a good start. It smells, ooh. Oh yeah. Right? Wait, should we do this? Romance. It's just like applesauce. That was really, oh my God. We're gonna keep that over here and we're gonna eat that later. Apple, cauliflower, and leek. What's a leek? Leek's like a, 
know. It smells like cooked cauliflower. I honestly can't smell it. Then again, you have a scent of like a bloodhound right now. I am a bloodhound. Allie can smell literally everything. No. It's not that bad because in the reason why I said I really love cauliflower, it's got a very strong cauliflower taste. I can see a baby wanting to spit that out. I can see a baby wanting to spit that out. I can see a human being, grown up, wanting to spin that out. To me, it's not as bad it's, as apple reason quinoa. It's one of those smell uh, tastes that kind of get to your smell, like mm -hmm. right behind your nose. But it wasn't as bad as that one. We should have done this blindfolded. Oh, oh my, my god, god, that would have been impossible. Pear, spinach, and pea. I like the colors of all this stuff. I know that sounds weird, but it le it looks good to me. Except That's for this good, one, this go one kind of looks like baby's face baby pee. and clothes. Cheers. That doesn't bother me. No, it's. I think what's happening is my stomach's starting to not like what I'm doing. If you put this in a smoothie, and it would probably taste delicious. Half a pear, half a cup of spinach, and four teaspoons of these. I don't think that was bad. Yum, Sweet da, potato, da, da, da. apple, and pumpkin, and blueberry. There's like four or five things in this thing. See, now that we're doing this, I feel like we really lucked out because we are vegetarians, so we don't have to taste maybe the the, beef the baby the food that is like really like funky and gross. I don't smell any. I smell pumpkin. Wow. That one's really good. That's really good. That is amazing. That one's so good. Like genuinely want more on that? Yeah. I'm not even kidding. That one's really good. We can make a little baby one for my room. I really <laughs> like that one. Okay, we're gonna put that in the middle. Wait, which one? No, that's the happy side. There's this one. I'm kind of scared to try. Not really. Yeah, I am a little bit. No, that one. I'm really scared. You're gonna try that. You're gonna be the one. We'll do this one. No, we'll do. We'll do this. One. Black beans, beets, and banana. I like black beans. I'm like hit or miss. It's interesting. I don't really like black beans that much right now. I like two of the three things. You love bananas. I love bananas. Oh, is it it's brown and then it's... Is it earthy I don't smell? think I'm gonna like this one. Ooh, that smells like straight up beets. Ugh. Okay, no, no, no. That actually was not bad. I, that was awful. I don't know, I, guess, was I awful. guess beets don't bother me that much anymore, baby. I think it's because I hate beets. That is awful. I don't like beets. Like, I think beets are disgusting. It's a little sour. It tastes like I just ate dirt. Pumpkin, chickpea, spinach, and broccoli. Burping I'm a little bit food. nervous about this because a lot of these I'll eat at dinner, but I always think about this. People or people will say like, "What's the difference from blending it all together and just eating it separately?" It, there's difference. There's a huge difference. It's a texture thing. It smells very. You just had chickpeas this afternoon. Okay, I'm smelling broccoli and I'm smelling chickpeas. I'm smelling broccoli. I smell broccoli. I love broccoli too. Cheers, ready? Oh, that's bland. That is bland. That is not good. Uh -uh. That is uh -uh. not good. That was so gross. Right. Yeah, and don't think just because we say it tastes bad that we're not going to feed it to our children. No, yeah, want them obviously. To be healthy, the nutrition, but, but, but this is still. Uh, that was the worst. That was bad. That was disgusting. The worst part is I genuinely was starting to believe everything was going to be good. Like everything was going to taste awesome. Oh my god, that was so that was that good. Banana, blueberry, and avocado, and this I love all three of these. I guarantee this is going to probably be interesting the best too because it's only got half a tablespoon of avocado, half of a banana, and eighteen blueberries. So it's probably gonna be really. How sweet. you say banana? Banana. You say it's so funny. Banana. 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 <laughs> it is the, the consistency a lot different than the other ones. Mm. That mm. was awesome. Mm. I could literally put ice in this thing and make a little personal smoothie. You know they make adult versions of these? Oh yeah, that's pretty much the same. That's amazing, that's a great one. I guarantee that the um, adult versions of these that they package are the this, exact so same thing. these are things. the happy ones, we like all those. These are happy, these are amazing, these are uh, okay, these are horrible. That one should be burned. I'm so worried about this one, I don't know why. This I'm is pasta out. with tomato and white bean. So I'm very nervous well, about see, the this thing one. Is, I like pasta. I like and pasta I too, but I don't think I like pureed pasta. Yeah, that's the thing. Is this is all texture? It comes back to the texture situation. It looks like. Pasta. <laughs> I am not enough. Please, it looks like. Oh, this one. Look, show the color. Yeah. Oh my God! It smells like spaghettios. No. It smells. Like, smell it. This is not going to be a spaghetti. No, no, no. Smell it though. I did. It uh -oh. looks like a bird had a really bad meal. <laughs> that's dry. It's so dry. Oh my god, I have chills. Smelled amazing. Smelled like uh, spaghettios. I think we're gonna end it on a pretty good note. This is, eh, we're gonna put that over there. Banana, cinnamon, granola. All right, this is a this nice is, one to this, follow. This is literally yogurt I just had the I other day. I love that noise. When the top, oh. the seal. That's a lot. 
These are not baby sized spoons. <laughs> That's great. You know what that tastes like? I can't figure it out. It doesn't taste like applesauce because it's, it's just like a crazy. yogurt. It's like almost like a yogurt. It is like a yogurt. That's really yummy. Okay, that's going in the amazing pile. Hang on, I want to read this. There's nothing like in these. You know, there's like what they say the ingredients are and that's what's in them. I feel like I will, I don't know, I'm pretty impressed. I think I might like this one too. Last one. This is the last one after the 13 that we just tried. Carrots, strawberries, and chickpeas. Carrots and strawberries sounds amazing. The chickpeas. Chickpeas, is what, I think, what's gonna dry it out. That's yeah. Was just, that's what I think the issue then is the bean aspect of things just kind of dries it out. It just flowed right out. Cheers. Ooh, it smells pretty decent. That's not that bad. No. Okay, it's more savory and a little tart, but it's actually not bad. Like I don't love it, but I don't hate it. No, I just I honestly blown away by all these. That's a middle one. Out of this entire test, we only got one, two, three, four that we didn't like. Do you think it would be hard to recreate these? I kind of do. Even though you kind of have Don't the recipe on the back like, of it. They have blenders designed for doing this. Yeah, one. they do. But like I like I think it would be cool. I almost want to try that one day is like try and create my own baby food. But like it would be fun to kind of like come up with my own concoction and see if there's something. I think it's like making a smoothie. I think we'll probably end up trying to do that for a little bit. Realistically, I doubt. Yeah, we're gonna, realistically. Yeah. Because if we're gonna be realistic here, he's gonna be on tour a lot. Yeah. And, and I, realistically, I'll be by myself with the dogs and the cat and the baby. And realistically, I won't have the time. <laughs> and realistically, when I'm gonna be alone and everyone's quiet and down, Mama's gonna be sleeping. <laughs> Mama's not gonna be cooking up no baby food. She's got sassiness going on. But it's great to know that they have like these organic yeah. ones. And oh, now we know recipes yeah. and what to avoid. Watch our kid love like a pasta base. So I know that that's kind of like a ways away for us. It's like all this baby food stuff. But we're just so excited about like prepping for the baby and like finding stuff. It just, I don't know. It's, it's actually really interesting the transition of being normal adults, like that have no children, just have our dogs and doing what we do, to finding out that we're pregnant and like getting to the point that we're at now where we're into the second trimester and time is like creeping up on us. It's like really fun to do these other things that involve, you know, further stages in our life and further stages in the baby's life. I okay, hope you enjoy these like weird moments and decisions and ideas that we have because we're gonna have a whole bunch more. Yeah. I have a list of things that she we're gonna does. do. Tell us what you want to see. I know not everyone wants to see all this baby stuff, but you know, it's gonna be in the vlog Surprise. a little it's, bit. Yeah, I, mean, I was gonna say. It's, and now I've got a little, I got a little baby The, bump, the bump's so. starting to come out. Tell us like what you guys wanna see, like in regards to like the baby stuff, that could be something different. Cause we love doing this like weird and different stuff. When we went and bought all these things, it was very daunting, but at the same time, it was so fun. Cause we were looking at the little, like jumpers, and then we were looking at clothes, and then we were looking at just like backpacks. And it he's was, like more in like daddy mode. I, I love it. Like, like I'm, I'm the pregnant one, and he's like, we need to get this, we need to get this. What about our registry? We should start doing a registry. I've been writing things down for the and registry. And I'm like, Charles, take a chill pill, dude. Like, we still have time. It's cool. Like, it's cool. No, we gotta start working on the nursing. Like, Wipes. No, we don't. Like, take a deep breath. We'll be the okay. The nursery is <laughs> going to be my favorite part, oh, I God, think. Oh, God, I'm so scared. There is so much. Before I go, continuing my dad jokes. I can't, I hope somebody's compiling these. Did you hear about this uh, Scarecrow winning an award? Oh, sorry, what? <laughs> because he was outstanding in his field. Get it? Because he was outside he was great. and he was standing Got it. in and the outstanding field. Outstanding is like an award, yeah. yeah. Outstanding, like amazing. Please let me know in the comments whether or not you guys use baby food or if you did like and let us know if you enjoyed this yes and if what was your favorite that you liked and give me some dad jokes in the comments i've been please. literally grabbing Actually, dad don't. jokes no no please don't. i've been grabbing a lot of these jokes from you guys i will see you or we will see you guys tomorrow don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and he or she will see you tomorrow too. Oh yeah, sorry guys. We actually didn't have a sonogram today. I totally Oh yeah, I screwed that one up. Pregnancy brain. <laughs> yeah. It's Thursday. That was my fault. Yeah. Yeah, don't forget to like, like, like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.